Getting to know one's body and the emotional power of tactile experiences were primary themes in the film. Hi. So Alita's interactions with her world and its characters were critical to its success. The director encouraged us to allow Rosa to fully interact with the set and other actors, which added a whole level of complexity to our 3D integration solutions. Even in the backgrounds, cyborgs and extras were meticulously painted out or replaced or augmented with digital parts. The placement of these elements was especially difficult in stereo when the design profile of digital characters was different than the actors or the prosthetics didn't line up. Every hand, foot and body contact was adjusted to lock contact points. Rotor shapes were merged with deep data to marry digital characters with real actors and stereo alignment was tweaked throughout each shot, sometimes per frame. You can feel this. Yes. Stereo disparity between the plate and CG was often warped and deep projection techniques were used to blend the two, so the contact points between digital and human characters were believable. Brick maps were used for smoke, dust and dirt along with nuke particles and eddy simulations to add complexity to the broad set extensions and entirely CG districts. A library of hand animated neon signs and billboards were placed in the environments to add movement for a busy, vibrant city. A system was developed to create deep 3D volumes which mimic physically based atmospheric models. We created automation for additional weathering and staining on the buildings using deep projections, material IDs and procedural texture maps. We use Nuke's particle simulation tools, along with Eddy, for simulating and rendering interactive clouds, smoke, dust and fog right inside of Nuke. Artists had the creative control to design the look, with the ability to lay out fluid containers, adjust the size, volume and density, wind direction, strength and turbulence, and added geometry for the fluids to interact with. 